of 120 I can't open inch. it. Hi guys, welcome to my channel. If you are new, welcome. My name is Crystal. I try to post travel and skincare related videos with occasional lifestyle tidbits. If you are returning, then thank you for coming back. Today, what I have for you guys is a skincare haul video um, sharing some products that I got from Korea and Japan. So I try to think about how I could divide this up, but since I only have one thing from Japan, I'm going to go ahead and share that with you. And from Japan, I got this SK2 Katera SN set. And it's the starter kit, so it's the mini version. But this is Japan exclusive, and I fell in love with the packaging, so I just had to get it. So it has the cleanser, the mask, the Patera Essence, and the New Age Lotion or Cream. So I just mainly got this in Japan because I loved the packaging and you could only get this there so I just had to get it. I honestly didn't really have time to shop for other products like Hada Labo and all these things I had on my list mainly because of the destination we stayed in and Shijenji was a very small country village with no access to things that I could have gotten in Tokyo and even in Tokyo I only had a couple of hours so I didn't get to buy a lot of things necessarily but at the airport right before my flight to Korea I was able to get this at least this so this is my only skincare souvenir from Japan and for Korea I'm gonna go ahead and start with the new ones that I have not opened yet I got this one the age 20s cushion this is the diamond version I shared this in my favorites for September and I got this online and it was like a full package. So I got six of these, literally six of these with refills. So that's 12 cushions that could last me for a lifetime, literally. And with that, I also got these ampules. I got these ampules, so five of these plus 12 cushions. And I think it was less than a hundred dollars another one that i have not opened yet and this one actually i have not been able to open i literally cannot open this it's this new cream skin refiner from laneige and this was a brand new line that came out now this full size bottle is actually made of glass but for some reason i don't think it was designed really in a smart way because I cannot open this and I try to get my brother to open it like with tools my dad's try to open it I literally cannot open this so I don't know if this is a defect or if this is how the packaging is but if it is I don't think they did a good job with designing this because I cannot use it since I can't open it but for the travel one which is made of plastic I was able to use this and I love it. It literally looks like milk. The consistency, the color, it's white and I've been loving this to use. This is kind of the viscosity is hydrating enough to use it as a toner plus serum. So it's almost like you don't even need a moisturizer because this alone is hydrating enough. It's supposed to open like this. Mm. Like right here, the middle part. But oh. I'm puzzled. <laughs> you can take it to the one in the store and count it. Or oh my play god. Notes. They don't even have this here yet. You're like, oh, you look your <laughs> Another product that I got is this Sika cream, Sika fault cream from a ben and this was actually five dollars i have a full-sized version that i've used for years and they had some kind of sale going on at one of the olive young stores and this was five dollars so i just had to get this the next product is this Kilo soft bubble eraser pads from metaheal and this is one of my favorite brands it's also it kind of reminds me of the gauze peels from neogen and there are a lot of similar products like this but pretty much it kind of looks like a little sponge brush it's a scrub like an exfoliator i have not used it yet but this is what it looks like it's brand new so i'm starting to use this one 
Now to the ones that I have been using. It's these duos by Dr. G and I actually started using this when I was in Korea because my skin was so bad. This cleansing oil has been proven to be very effective so I purchased these. These came together and I've used almost half of this already. Usually these types of cleansers like pH cleansers don't foam easily but this one foams really easily which I like. For the cleansing oil I'm not sure, I'm not too sure if it does a great job. I mean, it takes off my makeup and stuff, but compared to my other cleansing oils that I have tried, I didn't think that it was drastically different. So that's on my so-so list. One toner that I've been really liking, it's this Chamomile Pure Toner from Mamonde. And I just like the chamomile ingredient because it's so calming, perfect for sensitive skin. I shared this on my Instagram post too, just as my sensitive SOS skincare routine. I use it a lot. I soak my cotton pads and I just leave it on my face all over, turning it into a toner pack, and it's been very effective. I also ended up refilling on one of my favorites from Innisfree, the green tea line, and this is the Essence in Lotion. So. It's an essence, but it's in like a creamy lotion texture. And I just apply this after using a toner before my moisturizer. And it's it has this very cooling sensation. I love all the products from this line anyways. So I just got myself a new bottle during my visit. This is the Barrier Activator Cream by Dr. G. This is the same brand as my cleansing foam and the cleansing oil earlier. And this came in a travel size and I wanted to get a full size version but, but they ran out. So I only got the travel size. As I mentioned earlier, because my skin was so sensitive and damaged during my trip, especially towards the end, I kind of lost hope and I didn't really care too much. But this cream really helped me build that barrier and actually recover towards like my last two days during the trip. And I looked better by the time I flew back. And I think right after I got back, the first week after using this cream was probably my best week, I think. I asked my friend if she could get me a full-sized one when she went recently, but they actually didn't have it. They ran out. So if they're always running out, I think that's a good sign too because that means it's pretty popular and effective. And over here, I have a tea tree oil. I've always used the Body Shop tea tree oil since college. So it's been a while, I've always used that and it's the same size, literally almost looks the same. This one has 20% tea tree leaf oil and 33% tea tree leaf extract. But I just use a Q-tip and put it all on my blemishes or even acne scars and this has helped me a lot. Definitely minimizes the redness and any type of inflammation. So if I put it on before I go to sleep, the next morning the redness is usually all gone. So I really like refilling on this one and I thought I'd give it a try using a Korean one. So This is another product from Mediheal and this is actually a part of kind of like a masking routine. They call this the step three, but it's a hydrating ampule and you layer over it, but it's called a Hydra shot and it literally looks like a shot. This one ampule lasts you a really long time, but you have to use it that day once you open it. So what I usually do is right after I sheet mask, I just apply this all over before I go to sleep on a pretty sensitive day. And I have been pretty sensitive, but I don't want to use all of it. So I've been like very, I've been very stingy about using these. I only have four left and I think I got like 10. So I used six of it. But for these, I want to be extra stingy and save up for when winter comes and it gets even more cold and my skin gets really, really, really dry. A lot of the products in Korea, they're very, because a lot of... Hmm. I, I could say the culture is very 
Christy, help me. What's the term? Not like body shaming, but... Standards are pretty high. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Standards are very high. And I feel like Korean people get really sensitive about the way they look. Um, appearance. Body type. That's why skincare is so big. Beauty is so big. And another thing that's really big is body types and like diet foods, uh, diet plans. Pretty much they have a lot of medications um, that you could easily get or like vitamins plus whatever like medications. But Korea is really good at packaging things like that. And it really, like really interested me, so I stopped by and got one of these. And this was just like a seven day one, which obviously like it didn't work. <laughs> it was supposed to be like every day for seven days. And I have two left. So I took five, I guess, but I stopped. So I can't really tell you guys the results, but it's by Glamd and it looks like this. I think there's like a full size version too. And that one has like 30 days worth of pills or medications but maybe i'll take this today since it's thanksgiving and i'll show you guys what's inside perfect but pretty much you take one of these a day before you eat so first thing in the morning it comes and there's four pills but anyways there's a lot of stuff like this and i just got it out of curiosity obviously i did not stick with it so can't tell you the results but Yay. It probably doesn't work, right? <laughs> probably doesn't Maybe. work. I don't know. And now for my mask sheets or sheet masks, I got this one. Another one by Mediheal. And this one actually has BTS on it. The packaging. Look. Oh, my. Susie. Yeah, Susie. Susie, seriously. But I got this at the airport. And I got really excited because it's like special edition and I always have this tendency to gravitate towards special edition things. But this box contains two of Mediheal's really beloved masks and one of them is the Tea Tree Care Solution, which is this one. And you might have seen a different packaging, but this is the BTS special edition, so that's why it looks like this. And then the other one is a PDF AC dressing ampule mask. But these masks both have so much essence in it. I feel like I have so much left over to use all over my neck. And that's why I love all Mediheal masks in the first place. I think there were like 12 each. So there's 24 masks here in total. This one is also by Mediheal. Um, I thought this was really cute. It's a point mask. So I've done one where I had like a lemon one and I put lemons over my face there's like a kiwi one strawberry one but this one's a character specifically as far as functions it's supposed to be good for vitamin care and glowing um <laughs> but mainly i just got it for the design it's super cute this one that i got has five different sorry five different types it has a nourishing one revitalizing one Bio Radiance, which is for whitening and wrinkle care, moisturizing, and then a specific whitening one. And I actually got each of these. There are a total of 120 each, but I literally got so many because I love this sheet mask and I think it's gonna last me for such a long time. But yeah, my favorite one is this one, moisturizing this time of the year. You just need a lot of hydration and it's so important to moisturize the skin because if it's so dry it gets flaky and if you put makeup on top of flaky skin it just looks gross and you look like you're peeling and it just gets very unattractive but that is my mini skincare haul from korea and like one thing from japan thanks to christy for letting me borrow her house and this natural light but anyways, thank you for watching and see you guys in the next one. Bye!